Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After creating an accountant's copy of your company file, you must later import your accountant's changes back into your company file to restore full functionality to your original company file. If your accountant sends you a file, open the company file and then insert a copy of the changes your accountant gave to you on the removable media like DVD-ROM, CD-ROM, or flash drive for example. Then select File, Send Company File, Accountant's Copy, Import Accountant's Changes from File from the menu bar. You must make a backup before you can import the Accountant's Changes, so make a backup file when prompted to do so by QuickBooks. Then navigate to the folder or drive that contains the file with the changes and double click the file to open it and import the changes. At that point, the Accountant's Changes pending message in the title bar of the company file will then disappear. That means you have successfully imported the changes. If you receive the changes from the internet using the file transfer feature instead, you will receive an email from your accountant informing you that the changes to the accountant's copy are complete and that you have changes to import. At that point, you have 30 days to import the accountant's changes into your company file. To download these changes, open your company file, then select File, Send Company File, Accountant's Copy. Import Accountant's Changes from Web from the menu bar. After the download is completed, you will then see a listing of the Accountant's Changes appear within your company file. Also note that the Accountant's Changes pending message has also disappeared from the title bar of the company file. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.